Let's talk coolant. Ford has now discontinued the orange coolant, which they have been using in their vehicles since 2011, and it has now been replaced with this yellow coolant. The cool thing about the yellow coolant is it is backwards compatible, all right? So what that means is if you have orange coolant in there and you just want to top off with it or with this yellow coolant, you can go ahead and do that. You can mix them together. You can do a full flush on the system and completely refill it with the yellow coolant and it'll be fine. Or you could just pop a hose off, drain out, you know, as much as you want, put it back together and then fill it up the rest of the way with the yellow coolant. No matter what you do, you're going to be safe using it. You can mix it with the orange. It's not going to hurt anything. That's the awesome thing about it being backwards compatible. Now, I'm no scientist, so I'm not going to get into what the orange coolant doesn't have and what the yellow coolant does have, phosphate or oat or hot or pot or whatever the hell it is. If you watch other YouTubers, I'm sure they'll go really in-depth for you about it. I'm just your normal, average dude who... You know, the orange coolant's discontinued. What do I do now? The yellow coolant's a thing to replace it. That's what I care about, all right? I just want to make sure what I'm putting in my truck is safe. So I did my research. I looked it up. I found it's backwards compatible. Went to the dealership and picked up, you know, this concentrated one gallon of it. And I'm going to top off my orange coolant with it. Again, I'm no scientist. If I were, I would have a bunch of money and I wouldn't even be worrying about this in the first place because I'd be paying somebody else to worry about it for me. I'm just your normal dude who keeps his truck in shape. So yellow coolant, that's the way to go. Um, and let's talk about Ford and the coolants that they've used over the years, just real quick. So you have an idea of what's going on here. Since the year 2000 and including this new yellow coolant that was just released this year, 2020, this is the fifth type of coolant that Ford has used in their vehicles. In the last 20 years, this is the fifth coolant for Ford. That's a lot of change over 20 years. It just seems like Ford just can't seem to get it right and stick with a coolant to use in their vehicles. The yellow coolant, I have, I have high hopes for. The orange coolant stuck around for a while. They actually used it since 2011, so over those 20 years, it managed to last nine, almost half of those 20 years. So the orange coolant, you know, it had a good run, but still was just not good enough. The yellow coolant, though, it looks like Ford finally wised up. It's like, if we can't figure it out, we're just going to copy what somebody else does. And this yellow coolant, to be honest with you, it's what a lot of Asian uh, motor vehicle companies have been using in their vehicles for a long time. And if we know one thing about them, I'm probably going to get roasted for this, but in my opinion it is the truth. Asians make better vehicles than American car manufacturers. They're more reliable and they just seem to get it right. And if this is what they're using, I have a feeling that this is going to be the coolant that Ford uses maybe for the next 20 years. Because if they don't do something, they're going to have all the colors of the rainbow in coolant by the time 2030 gets here. They've already done light green, gold, dark green, orange. Now we're into yellow. You know, if they keep going, Forge is going to be known as the Rainbow Cooling Company. Enough bitching about Ford and their inability to come up with a good coolant to use for a long time that is reliable. Let's just get to putting this in our truck, right? So what I do is I always buy concentrated instead of pre-diluted. Pre-diluted would be good if like you needed coolant like immediately, you're on the side of the road, you know, it, it leaked out, whatever, and you don't have distilled water nearby. Um, then, you know, buy the pre-diluted stuff, but you're gonna pay just as much for pre-diluted, which is going to be, you know, a half gallon of actual coolant as you would the concentrated. And it's real easy. It's not like, you know, this takes some crazy math to figure out how much that you need to mix with this. It's 50-50. So you mix half of that gallon jug of distilled water with half of this gallon jug of concentrated. And you put that mixture into your truck. That's what it is 
you know, if you buy it pre-diluted, it's half and half. So just buy the concentrate, better bang for your buck, unless you're really in a bind and you need it immediately, then go ahead and buy the pre-diluted. Some might say what I'm about to do here is wasteful, and it really is, but this is a jug of distilled water. It costs like 80 cents at Walmart, and I have another jug as well, so I'm just going to empty half of it out into Mother Nature, watering the earth, and she'll give it back to us at another time. I'm going to get this down to half, and then I'm going to pour half of that into this, shake it up, mix it real nice, and then we'll put it in to the truck look in there i can see it i'm not sure how well it shows up on the camera but it's definitely yellow and i'm sure we'll see it nice and yellow whenever we pour it into our jug here so let's go ahead and fill this up with yep there we go half of the yellow coolant There we go. Shake. Shake it up. Make sure that the thumb is keeping the lid on there. That looks like it's mixed pretty well to me. Okay, so let's discuss how not to be an idiot, all right? Don't do this when everything is warm if you just drove to pick up the coolant come home let the vehicle sit for a while but you don't want to take this lid off while it's hot you want to make sure that it's cool because if you take it off when it's warm you run the risk of injuring yourself burning yourself with the coolant that's in there already just let it sit let it cool off come back to it in an hour when it's nice and cool and then you can go ahead Take this lid off, and then since I'm just topping it off, I'm not doing a flush, I'm not doing a drain and fill, I'm just going to fill it up so that it's right where it should be on this cold fill line right there. Everything here is nice and cool, so, and look, they even give you a little warning right there. Don't be an idiot warning, all right? Everything's nice and cool, so we're going to let this off. And hear the pressure come out of there a little bit. Bingo, bingo. So that's inside. And there's the orange stuff in there. Remember, it's backwards compatible, so we can mix it right in with whatever is in there already. And now, so as not to cause an overflow, to make sure that I get the proper amount in there, I have my funnel. And again, remember, I am not even going to use probably a quarter of this because I am just topping off the orange that I already have in there existing. Backwards compatible, it's fine to do that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll top it off to the cold fill line and then I'll put my lid back on and my job will be done and I'll just save this extra mixture, probably, you know, just keep it in the back of the truck somewhere so it, you know, something ever happens and I need some pre-diluted on the spot i already have it done and then i also have you know a half gallon of the concentrated left so i have both mixtures now that looks about right so We'll go ahead and put our lid back on. I'm gonna get a shop towel and wipe up the little bit of a mess that I made. And we're good to go. And I wanted to try to get a good shot of where the coolant level needs to be in the reservoir. So right here, if you can read what that says, let's focus enough for you. Right there, ah, there you go. It says cold, fill range 
So that's another reason why you wait until everything is cooled off in here so you get a correct measurement. So you want the fluid that you put in to be right in this cold fill range, right between these two bars. I have mine, you know, right at the bottom of the seat. So that's pretty much exactly in the middle. I filled it up to that point. I put the lid back on. Everything should be good to go now. Um, but the reason that you want to keep it in that range and not like fill it up to here or even up to the top, you'll have a serious issue because when things warm up, it expands, right? So it's going to be above this cool fill range. When it gets hot, it's going to, you know, the level's going to rise. But when it's cool, you want it to be right in this area. So make sure you pay attention to that. And of course, on the top, you know, it's going to say only use the Ford Specialty Orange Coolant plus 50% water. Um, again, yes, that was true, but Ford has now discontinued the orange. So when you see this, just know you need the yellow. It is backwards compatible. Can't stress that enough. You can mix the two together and you'll be fine.